Hi, so we're here today to tell Bank of America and Citibank that coal is over and it's time that they funded the future. Bank of America and Citibank are responsible for a large part of global warming uh, through their financing of the coal industry, which is the primary cause of carbon emissions in this world. So behind me here, in front of this Bank of America in downtown San Francisco, we have three dozen people doing a coffin, a die-in, to symbolize the deaths that coal, the coal industry brings on average Americans. 26,000 people a year die from the emissions of coal power plants in this country and hundreds of thousands around the world uh, are affected uh, with respiratory illness every year from this core primary cause of global warming. We are here outside of the Bank of America in San Francisco as part of the National Coal Day of Action happening all around the United States in 50 cities. Thousands of activists are taking to the streets to make sure that every customer that uses a Bank of America or a city ATM today knows that City and Bank of America are the top financiers of coal and global warming. As you can see, Brent is stealthily applying the global warming crime scene materials to the ATM. The objective here is to make sure that everybody who uses this ATM doesn't just get to click withdraw, checking, savings. They get to click climate change, coal. And with that, they make the connection between their money coming out of their bank, their money going into their bank, and money being used to finance climate change. if we're going to stop coal, that we stop the money flowing into the coal industry and instead redirect it towards energy efficiency and renewable energy because that is the future and change is in the air.